Hello all, sorry for the late upload, but in today's video I'm just going to be sharing the books that we're going to be putting on our book sling for the month of May. There's a couple of celebrations in May, first one being Eid, so this book is Celebrate Eid, so we'll be learning about how they celebrate Eid and the customs that they take part in and how just in how they celebrate and decorate and outfits that they wear, so... That's the first book. And then we'll also be learning about Cinco de Milo. Cinco de Milo always takes place on May 5th. So we'll be learning about Cinco de Milo and why that is celebrated and the history of that. So this is a great little book. And then I have this Ready to Read Living in Mexico. So learning about a little bit more of the history and geography of Mexico. At the back here, it has the flag, the population, capital city, the language, some government, some fun facts. So it's good to read about. It's a cutely illustrated book as well. So, And then I have this book because we're going to be talking about Mexico and a little bit of the United Kingdom and a little bit of Paris this month. Our main focus is um, the city of Paris. But this book is really nice. It's Say Hello, but it has hello in all different types of languages. So I thought that would be a great little book to read as well. Very multicultural. The next celebration in May is Mother's Day, so I pulled a couple of books for that. So we have My Two Moms and Me. So I'll be reading this one. And then I have this one, which is Why I Love My Mommy. And this one's beautifully illustrated with these animals. And then um, we have Love You Forever. So I thought, you know, we'll read this because this is a classic story about a mother raising her son. You know. And then as he gets older, he cares for her. And at the end, he cares for his own daughter. So we're going to be reading that. And then we have Just Me and My Mom. And because um, a big part of Nathaniel's life when he was, especially when he was younger and I was working full time, my mom was like a second parent to him. So we're also going to be reading Just Grandma and Me as well. Because since my mom's moved, you know, he only gets to see her a few times throughout the year. So. And, you know, like I said, um, it's like a second parent to him. So we'll be reading this as well. And then we have this book, which is One Family. And then we have Mama, Do You Love Me? And this is a beautifully illustrated book. So we'll be reading that as well. And then I'm just going to show you these because they were mixed in with the Mother's Day books. We're going to have a little talk about Strangers. It's uh, just a refresher. Nate pretty much knows not to go with anybody that he doesn't know or anything. But he's also very friendly. Like he'll just talk to anybody out of the blue. And we've been going over like, you know, you can't just run up to somebody because they have a dog and stuff like that. So we'll be reading the Bears and Bears. Learn about Strangers. Just, you know, as a refresher. And then I always choose like some kind of weather or nature book. So we're going to be reading this National Geographic Kids Weather Book. I think Nate will really like this one. He especially loves rain now because it's springtime and all it does is rain a lot. So he loves the rain and the puddles. And then he's also into how uh, seeds grow. So we're going to read this one, which is How a Seed Gr Grows by uh, Scholastics.
I'm just going to show you some books for um, Victoria Day. So here in Canada, we celebrate Victoria Day. So we're going to read who was Queen Victoria and learn about her life and the stuff that she accomplished. I love these who who was books or who is books. They're really fantastic. You can get them at your Chapters and Indigo stores. And then I have this book here, which is Good Dog, and this one is Fireworks Night. So I thought because um, on the long weekend for Victoria's Day, there's always uh, fireworks. So I thought this would be a fun little chapter book to read about this little dog. And then I have this book. It's called um, Cultural Traditions in the United Kingdom. So learning about the United Kingdom. But there's also a page here that is called May Day, right here. So we'll be reading about May Day and what um, that is all about. But yeah, I like this book. Learning about a little bit of history and geography about the United Kingdom. And then our main unit study for the month of May is going to be about Paris and learning a little bit more French. Nate is really into French. He likes to watch Peppa Pig often, but he watches it in French more than he does in English. And he kind of picks up on some of the stuff. I do not know much French. So we found this uh, book, which was only $3 at a Winners or a Marshall store. It's really cool. It comes with the little figurines and a map of Paris. And we're going to play the little game there. So there's the map and all these cool little figurines. But it just goes over important areas of Paris. So I'll be reading this. At the Dollarama, I found two more of these style books. And this one is Milan, and it comes with the 10 figurines. But it's um, in French and not in English. So I thought, you know, something just different to look at. And uh, the figurines are really nice as well. But, yeah. And main uh, part of this um, lesson will be watching videos and learning all the days of the week, the numbers, the colors, all in French and stuff. But I just thought Nate want to look at this. Maybe he might pick up a couple of words. <laughs> but, yeah. And then I also have this one from also the Dollarama. And this one is the Fireman Sam. And this one came with the 12 figurines. But, again, it's in French. We're also going to read about who was Julia Child. So she lived in Paris and then took up a love for French cuisine. So and learned how to cook and went to a French culinary school. So we'll be reading about her and her life. And then we have the story of Madeline, a little girl who lives in Paris. And this is a classic story. So we'll be reading that one. And the last book I have to show you is this 1,000 Words, and this is English to French, and this is going to be our reference. I'm probably going to do a lot of, uh, like, I'll probably stick a picture of a bus, and then Nate can look up a uh, bus in the book and then learn how to uh, write it in French. So that's how I'm going to kind of use this book. But this book has, I'll just show you the beginning, but it has, like, any lots of things you can think of, the airport all these different categories so this book is absolutely fantastic professions daily activities so if i i could even draw little pictures for him i was thinking of like um uh, writing out like the colors for him in french and then he can look them up in here and then he can take a marker and uh fill in the colors and do it like that or you can add like six dot stickers to the number six in French. But yeah, this will be our reference. So I'm just going to arrange the bookshelf and I'll show you what that looks like. So we have the Paris book down here. The other two are here. And the French book, Julia Child, and then the Madeleine. We have the United Kingdom, Queen Victoria. We have the weather and the seed book here. The Mother's Day books are here. And at the top is the Eid. 
and the single to my loop books. So thanks so much for watching this video, and I will talk to you in the next one. Take care and bye for now.